Hi, everyone. Uh, today, we're going to introduce you to macromolecules and how they are built. So let's get started here. There's four major types of macromolecules that you need to know about for AP biology. Uh, the carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, and nucleic acids. And the first thing you need to understand is how they're built. Biological molecules are built or formed from building blocks, usually monomers, that are linked by a special kind of reaction called a dehydration reaction. And remember what it means to be dehydrated? To mean be dehydrated means you don't have enough water. Well, in a dehydration reaction, dehydration synthesis, we're removing a water molecule to link two monomers and form a bond, as you can see on this next slide. So this is showing an example, one of many examples of a possible dehydration synthesis reaction. Here you have glycerol. Here you have three different fatty acid chains. And each gl the glycerol gives up a hydrogen atom. The fatty acid gives up an OH group. And if you put two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom together, what do you get? That's right, water. So for every bond you form, you're removing a water molecule. And in this example, you're forming three bonds. So three water molecules are removed. So the monomers, which are joined by dehydration synthesis to form a carbohydrate, are sugars. And in this slide, you see the formation of the sugar maltose. You have two molecules of glucose. Now, don't worry, you're not responsible for memorizing structures of particular sugars for the AP exam. Uh, one glucose gives up an OH, one gives up a hydrogen atom, and they form a bond, a linkage. And that linkage in a carbohydrate is called a glycosidic linkage, all right? So sugars are joined together to form carbs. Sugars are the monomers that form carbs. Now proteins are formed from monomers of amino acids. So here you have an example of two different amino acids alanine, and, oh, two, it, it actually two of the same amino acids, two alanines, and you don't need to know the structure of individual amino acids, okay? You have an OH group here. You're going to pull off one of the two hydrogens attached to the amine group, make a water molecule, and you form a peptide bond, now linking those two amino acids to form what's called a dipeptide, the beginning of a protein. Next, we have nucleic acids. And nucleic acids also use dehydration synthesis. You take a hydrogen off of one monomer and OH off the other one, and together they make water. Here you're showing two nucleotides joining to form the beginning of a nucleic acid or a dinucleotide. Okay, so let's go on and now let's look at lipids. Lipids are a little bit different and a little bit more complicated. There are many different ways to build lipid molecules. Uh, one of them we've already seen, which is taking a molecule of glycerol and some fatty acids to make the triglycerides. Now, interestingly enough, when we talk about the cell, we're going to talk about the cell membrane and how it's made of a bunch of phospholipids. To make a phospholipid, you do very much the same thing. You have a glycerol, two fatty acid chains, but instead of the third fatty acids, you have a phosphate group. That's why it's called a phospholipid. Another way you can make uh, lipids is by making modifications to a cholesterol molecule. Uh, estrogen, testosterone, cortisol, the stress hormones, any steroid hormone is basically a modification of a cholesterol molecule. So lipids are a little bit more involved. Now, you also need to digest these molecules when you eat your food. And the reaction that undoes dehydration is, of course, hydrolysis. If you break that word down, hydrolysis, hydrolysis. Hydro means water. Lysis means breaking. So hydrolysis reactions are adding back that water molecule to break that bond. So here we see our disaccharide, our carbohydrate made of two sugars linked together. Here's the linkage. You're going to add back that water molecule. And now you have your two separate sugars. And you break down proteins and lipids and nucleic acids the same way, all by adding water back through hydrolysis. Okay, so let's review what we talked about today. 
dehydration synthesis builds macromolecules. You remove a water to join the building blocks together. Hydrolysis reactions break down macromolecules by adding that water back. Carbs are built from a monomer called sugars. Proteins are built from monomers called amino acids. Nucleic acids are built from monomers called nucleotides. And lipids can be built in many different ways using things such as glycerol, fatty acids, and cholesterol molecules. All right, that's it for topic 1.3. Have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.